Today we're going to talk about dermatofibroma, another common skin lesion that often goes unnoticed. I'm Dr. Finbar and on this channel I explore how we learn to love the skin that we're in. Derm stands for skin and fibre is fibrous or scar-like and oma means swelling or growth. So dermatofibroma is a growth of scar-like tissue in this skin. Dermatofibromas is a harmless, non-cancerous skin growth that commonly occurs in adults. These little nodules are made up of fibrous tissue and can appear on any part of the body, but they're most frequently found on the arms and legs. Here are some examples. They're often small, ranging from a few millimetres to a centimetre in diameter, and the colour can vary from light brown to dark brown or even purplish at times. They have a firm, slightly raised and sometimes dimpled texture. And here's a, a secret clue that healthcare professionals who are trained in skin lesion recognition will use. It's called the dimple sign. You'll see here that when pinched from the sides, the dermatofibro was exhibit a particular dimple sign where the skin around the lesion retracts inwards. This is because there is a scar-like area under the skin which pulls it down. It's thought that dermatofibromas develop following an injury to the skin, such as like an insect bite or minor trauma like a thorn while gardening. The little proboscis or pointy part from the insect gets stuck in the skin and then a scar-like reaction occurs after. Genetics may also play a role in their development. Now, dermatofibromas are benign and pose no serious health risks. However, they can be painful if not. It's crucial to have any new or changing skin lesions checked by a professional trained in skin lesion recognition and the use of a dermatoscope. This is to ensure you get the correct diagnosis and rule out any other potentially harmful conditions such as melanoma or other types of skin cancer. Remember the ABCDE rule which we've discussed in other videos in this playlist. Be vigilant about any skin changes. However, there's one specific feature to be aware of. When you have a dermatofibroma, they don't really change. You'll have them for maybe 20 or 30 years. Let me show you a rare type of melanoma that is very dangerous. This is called a nodular melanoma, and sometimes they don't even have pigment. The clue that was worrying in this lady's lesion was that it was growing. In addition to the A, B, C, D, E rules, healthcare professionals are trained to watch out for E, F, and G, which stands for elevated, firm, and growing. So any elevated, firm and growing lesion needs to be checked out. This lesion, which looked like a dermatofibroma, was actually a melanoma and it was only determined because she knew that the lesion was growing and this was not normal. Since dermatofibromas are harmless, treatment's usually not necessary. However, if it's causing you discomfort or you're concerned about its appearance, there are some treatment options available. The main treatment is with surgical excision. That's where local anaesthetic is applied and then the lesion is cut out. The risk, however, is that another and maybe even larger dermatofibroma may grow back into the scar. In conclusion, dermatofibroma is a common skin lesion that you might develop as an adult. Although harmless, it's essential to be aware of your skin's appearance and have any new or changing lesions checked by a healthcare professional trained in skin lesion recognition. Remember your A, B, C, D, E, but also your E, F, G, elevated, firm and growing. Watch the other videos in this playlist where I discuss other lesions which are not moles. We have solar lentigo, seborrheic keratosis, hemangioma and sebaceous hyperplasia. Like, subscribe, share the video, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.